Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL Season 46 Chalice Playoffs Round of 64 match between Miss Belltree and her Pro Elves and Moomin Slayer and his Ogres. Um, in the booth with me is Fimey and Dimmy G. Hello. Hello. Amazons will never win Chalice, Jim. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good take, uh, Dimmy. I agree. I also think Ogres will never win Chalice and may never win a first round match ever again. <laughs> I, I believe Ogres have only ever won three games in Chalice. Yes. Uh, so the likelihood of them winning this is slim, Jim. <laughs> yes, I mean, this is... Like, really, this is just an exercise in um, either A, how many touchdowns Miss Belltree wants to score at the, at the cost of her team, which seems a mental thing to do in Chalice, seeing as you're guaranteed to win because you're against Ogres. Um, but, you know, Chunter probably would. <laughs> or, alternatively, how she can try and win uh, with minimising damage to her team, which is the obvious thing to do and what most good players would do. So there you I go. Think, I think Chunter is actually one of the coaches that has failed to win a game with Ogres in Chalice. Or did he... No, hang on. He might have won one. He lost no, to Amazon, funnily enough. Yeah, he fa shouldn't have failed. The, the, the three people who won was Necronome, somebody hello with... I'm uh, back. <laughs> hello, somebody against Dark Elves and somebody against um, Odont. But Odon, lost to o Odon lost to Ogres. Okay, I need to write that down. Yeah, so. yeah, 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 yeah. Look at this blip. What is that? Is that a catcher? Or Blitzer, that's a catcher. Catcher, yeah. That's a pretty special catcher, isn't it? Yep. Jesus Is Christ, it? look at the skills on that. <laughs> yeah. As it investigates the genitals of this ogre, <laughs> they just punch straight uh. through him. <laughs> Head got right in there. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, yeah, so obviously not holding back here, going straight in. Straight oh, in. And she's got a juggernaut frenzy. No. God. Oh my god. She, she did this with Wood Elves as well. He loves, he loves uh, the combo of Jagannath and Francis. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's like a Rick Mima, like, she yeah. just does it. Like, to be fair, it makes more sense on a Blitzer, than, like on a pro of Blitzer, than anybody else, right? Because he already, he already starts with block sidestep. Yeah. So, like... It doesn't start with um, dodge, though, so... No, it's still take dodge first, right? Like, she did. I, yeah, dodge, then, like, tackle. I prefer. Yeah, I mean, I you know I would have rather had tackle and mighty blow, obviously, but <laughs> it makes more sense than other players because it starts with block and sidestep. Mm, I'm still not sure, Jim. No, I I still absolutely hate it, but you know, who can say if it's good or bad? <laughs> I think there's an EA bot come on, for that. <laughs> And why have you why have you changed it to good or bad? It was always right or wrong. Was it? It was yeah. always. Who's yeah, to say yeah. whether this is right or wrong? Yeah. Who can say if it was right or wrong? Yeah, and then the, like the bot says good or bad, and I thought it's because EAB can only have so many characters, so it can't fit in right or wrong, oh, <laughs> and that's why BZL has gone with good or bad. Probably it was just. I mean, BZL made the command, right? So he probably just yeah. made it, and that was it. And he just didn't really uh, care, no. and I never noticed. <laughs> he never cared, and I never noticed. There you go. It's, that's it's uh, your own saying. It's your own <laughs> saying. Well, well, you know. I feel, I as a consumer of the stream, I feel robbed and well, outraged and appalled. Sorry. Yeah, what can I mind. say? I just didn't pay any attention. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go, instant 2D on the ball. Uh, because obviously, I mean, it was a 1 in 36 fail, obviously, pretty unlucky. Yes. Um, oh, oh, wow, nerves of steel uh, for the catch. Well, we, we got a pretty iffy dodge there, though. Yeah, 3 plus, three, 2, two plus. Yeah. Has to go backwards. Yeah. And then yeah. pass. Oh my god, it's disgusting, isn't it? It's just disgusting. Yeah, it's Poor always... Moomin, Poor Moomin just watching this going, Oh, Bait Chalice have qualified, 1-0 uh, down. Yeah. Moomin it depends. a bib. Oh, Diamond Tackle does nothing. <laughs> yeah, standard, standard. One, one of the things I think Elliot is actually right about is the uh, Diving Tackle being pretty bad. But that's like only against mm. Elves so much. Like, it's pretty good against Bash. Yeah. But then it's less likely to be good against Bash, isn't it? Like, that's the thing. 
Oh yeah, because they don't really want to dodge, so they, they yeah. want to kick your head. Like, they want to kick your head in. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. They're like, oh, thanks God for raising me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, oh, turn, it's a turn three, and the game is already over. Yep. Yeah, it's not. It's not. Nah, I mean, it's never over. <laughs> Come on, don't say I'm gonna it's ban over. anyone who says it's over. I'm gonna ban. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you, you're probably right. <laughs> you're probably right. I would not have changed it to good or bad, but who can say if it's right or wrong? <laughs> Very good. Very good. Um, no, it's it's not over, and and you know it's still gonna be nervous. Like the whole game is gonna be nervous for Miss Bell Tree. Like you know, are my L's gonna die? Um, that's the, yeah, that's that's the big question now. Is how much damage is uh, Moomin gonna do? Yeah, I think that's the. The, the big one, because... Ooh, it's all there. <laughs> oh, uh, there talking of that... There. Uh, there is uh, there. Uh, there's one, and it's the... It's, <laughs> it's the, it's the, me, it's the, it's the one words. that I, I would want to die. Like, <laughs> I want it to die. <laughs> it's the one I would never have on in a million years. <laughs> yeah, like, there's, like, that ogre is now based on, like, the strength catcher, which is the one, right? Yeah. That's like Neo in the Matrix. It's like Apo in Trinity when you've got Neo right next to him. <laughs> Do you, do you just score here? Just, just yeah, just score just to stop your yeah. strength catcher getting hit. And now I now I do the dacker on defense and just look at ogres pathetically try to score. Yeah, exactly. This is where you wish you had a bench as the pros, right? So you could just literally bench your best players. That's what I did when my uh, when my wood elves played at all because I just benched all my best players. <laughs> yeah, I mean like it's. <laughs> like you laugh and you joke about it, but it's it's true. Like yeah. it's actually true. Like yeah. Oh, so she's Dakar in there. Good, good yeah. level. Uh, good lass. Yeah. Um. I mean, Noel, because that's wrestle jump up is idiotic, and it's also not the same. <laughs> it's both idiotic and not the same. That's a weird question to ask. <laughs> Who asked that? Elp. Do Elp you... just asking an do idiotic to, question. Do you want me to time him out? No. Oh, but it's okay. just idiotic because that's not the that's not the question, is it? The 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 what the question is either guard or mighty blow, and tackle. Yeah, yeah, and like that's the thing, isn't it? And the problem is if she didn't roll the double until after, right? So yeah, so that's where you like if you're gonna take frenzy, then you get the double. Then the question is is mighty blow. I still think mighty blow is better than. Jugs, but then like you got yeah. one turners and stuff, and if you yeah. get stand firm, like it actually it makes sense in like you know hot like in a kind of, it's a oxymoron I think. But, yeah, Jack's friends is for the one turns. It makes sense for the one turns, and that's it. But like it's 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 just niche, and it's a. I think it's one of them things that pro elves are so boring. You have to do weird stuff to make them fun. Yeah. Like Elliot, Elliot had a great pro elf team that he just really didn't want to take, did he? He didn't want to take yeah. it. So, yeah. um, but like, uh, so sorry, but yeah, no, like the thing is, as I said, the the, the bit, it's pretty much the the best player for it, right? Because you already start with sidestep. Like sidestep's the other one that you want to take, right? And like with. With dancers, you you don't want to take frenzy. Like I, I know Miss Beltree does take frenzy on dancers, but frenzy and jugs she took. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but but like it's it's more precise, isn't it? A war dancer, so you want strip and tackle and stuff more on a war dancer, and you want and you want mighty blow more on a dancer and stuff. So like oh yeah. hello, Polak. So, yep, hello. Yeah, more it, yeah, it makes more sense on a pro of blitz than it does on a war dance, so I get yeah. what you're saying. Yeah, and, and, uh, and a normal, and a normal, uh, and just a normal blitzer as well, right? Uh, just a normal, yeah. high elf or dark elf I mean, like, so. if you look at, if you look at players like Triff, and like, probably Eliod's, and probably yourself, like, well, I don't, I mean, I don't know if you took, you, I, I, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't have took Frenzy in the first place, but when, when you roll that double and you, you have the option for guards, like, there, like, the, there's certain guys in Blood Bowl that I would, listen to like Shawnee and that's and it would just be guard it would just be guard like regardless of how you've built the player up until that point the the, the guard is so good that you just can't turn it down so like yes. it's that's that's the thing is 
Like there's there's I always said. Yes. Like I, I I I I like the fact that she's took it and it's like fun and it's a like bit of a meme, but like in in all honesty guys, it, it guard is just by far the superior skill to take at any point on a double on an elf. Like even over Mighty Blow I'd say like nine times out of ten, so Yes, it's 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 somewhat arguable with Mighty Blow with various things. So there's more factors yeah. going with Mighty Blow, but yeah, I think, and and you know, and and on a dancer, I wouldn't mind going like I've gone Mighty Blow piling on a dancer and wished I'd taken Mighty Blow jugs because you know like you don't want to like you don't want to blitz somebody and then get stuck on them right, so it's it's quite good for just hitting and running blitzing kind of thing. So there's times in it, it but yeah, I. I yeah. Like J J five J five's kind of summed it up. He said all skills are situ situational and equally good, which is meh. Uh, <laughs> and he said except guard is always active, so it is. <laughs> yeah. 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 Except guard, which is which is applying for thirty two turns, right? It's not even sixteen. It's thirty two turns. Whereas dodge, it's only it's you know what I mean. Like it's not active on your turn if you're blocking, is it? But like and guard is a, always on. There is a counter skill for uh, dodge with his tackle. There is a counter skill for block, which is wrestle, but the only counter to guard is more guard. Yeah. And like elves just don't have the strength access either, do they? So yeah. I, yeah in teams it's, that don't it's have not the, like... in teams that don't have access to strength, it's brutal or good guard. Is... Yeah. Yeah. It's it, it's one of the reasons Norse are so bad is because they don't have the strength access they need. Like all, all the players they have it on can't get it early because they need other stuff. Like so. Yeah. Like if you want to, if you want to win Chalice and you want the most competitive team out there, like that Blitzer has, either probably tackle Mighty Blow or it has Frenzy Guard, <laughs> which is yeah. or tackle pretty guard. guard. Or tackle Guard. Right? Yeah, tackle, tackle Guard. Side. Tackle Guard would be where I probably would have went with it, but yeah. you know. Yeah, because you got to take Dodge first, and you, and you you can't take Sidestep because you've already got it. <laughs> so yeah. So you take yep. Tackle, and then and then once you've got Tackle, then Tackle Mighty Blow is is pretty tempting if you haven't already got a Mighty Blow. And, I mean, uh, I'd, I'd argue, like, i maybe argue Diving Tackle, um, but I normally would go Tackle Diving Tackle if it's a normal, like... Yeah, that's, so that's the thing, so that's why I don't hate the Frenzy so much, because there's not that many good normals. So, by yeah. taking Frenzy, that's okay, and then you can double a Juggernaut. So, like, I really don't hate it that much, but um, it's not what I do. But then that's okay, isn't it? And, like, yeah, if it's, yeah, yeah, if it's I fun... like I like the fact that she's done it, because it's fun and it's better, and it, it shows you that Ultimately, it doesn't matter. It, it matters how well you coach, right? And that's like, I, I think if you gave like one of the top boys a team with a meme, like they're still gonna beat the the normal average guys like myself. Like they're still gonna beat me, like with the meme skills, just because they're better coaches, like you know. So you're well um, better than average, Jimmy. Don't put yourself down. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm saying like Chalice, like there, there's certain there's certain players like like in my head especially like I like there's certain names that I would be scared of, and there's certain names that I would go well. This is mainly down to the dice, you know. Like whether if I roll well, I'm gonna win. If I if I don't roll well, I'm probably gonna lose. So, but I'm just a realist, you know. Like I I understand that and what level I'm at, you know. But. And then I, I, I do enjoy it. I, I enjoy it. I enjoy Rick's craziness and his crazy picks and all that. And uh, if you don't know that he's not memeing, he definitely is, lads. <laughs> he, he definitely is. Um, and then I, I love I love Elliot's like black and white, no you're wrong or yes you're right. And some of his views are a bit controversial as well, I'd yeah, say. But, yeah. um, it's, it's like that's the, one of the great things about Blood Bowl, right? Is we all see the game slightly differently. And uh, that like, from the guys that I like really know and trust, um, and uh, I will name them later on if you want to ask me. But like, they they always say guard is just so good that you just cannot you cannot pick anything else. Like that's like one of, like even on a weird player like that you picked a dodgy not a dodgy skill but like a fun <laughs> skill on first they'll just go guard is that good that you, it just overrides every decision. Like. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think that's fair. Like I've always yeah. said, you could never go wrong with just like if all your players are blodge guard, like no yeah. matter what the team is, that's gonna make a good team. Even over strength, that's that's tough, Kill Bill. I don't know if uh, yeah, that is a big that is a big that is a, a bigger decision to make. That's yeah, stats 
ruin everything basically because also when you think of like wolves and, and wolves and dancers right they're definitely taking they're definitely taking strength over guard like a hundred percent or like i mean triff won chalice with an agi wolf didn't he and like yeah. that was weird like agi wolves are really hard for me to accept but they <laughs> are pretty goddamn good as well like that's the thing yeah especially when you're going to dodge out after every time you frenzy trap yourself <laughs> yeah. I mean, wolves with that movement, giving them AG is uh, like they become very, very good. Yeah. Like yeah, strength yeah. over wood elf catcher, yeah. Yeah, exactly, Kalon. Yeah, I'm sure I've taken, I'm sure I've taken guard over strength on a wood elf catcher before. Yeah, I, I can see that. I can definitely see that. Yeah. I've turned down Aji loads, like on linos and stuff like that. I, I think Aji can be a trap on certain players, but um. Like, one of the bad things about the 2020 rule set is that, like, it just takes that decision away. Like, stats are almost... A th like, and I, I, like, I, well, I do depend, like... That... Depends on format, Dimmy. Depends on format. Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's fair. But, like, I think stats bring something to the CCL. Like, the like last season was the season of the Strength 5 catcher, right? Yeah. Like, every, 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 like, chalice has a theme to it, and it... Like and I love that. I love that about Chalice is like um there'll be like teams with outrageous amounts of doubles that you have like a all dodge Norse team or all do uh, dodge dwarf team or <laughs> there seems to be like a running theme in every sort of chalice. Last season was the strength five catcher. Um mm. the season before was natties, like there were natties everywhere, it was bonkers. Yeah. Um and like that's something that I think that we're gonna miss in the new rule set. Like I think I think we're leaning to a more min-max rule set more than we were beforehand, which is honestly right. kind of sad. I think. I, like, I, I mate, don't especially think we are. I don't think. Mate, we are. with the rando it's skills, Jim. With the rando skills, like mm. people are gonna, and without the fan factor and stuff, like the TV is gonna be like low, like super low, and like I, I know that you can kind of pick like what stats you take, and well, movement is almost guaranteed yes. almost Move. like and stuff like it, that it, so it is guaranteed unless you want to take agility or strength instead <laughs> yeah 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 so but like the the days of the strength six player or the strength five player and stuff it's kind of dead and i'm I, a little I bit sad disagree. i disagree strongly um do you think but like in a meta where everyone is slim and trim and they're taking rando skills to cut 10k tv at like every turn and then you've got this big 80k strength up player 160k. I'll I'll take it. Well, not even 160k. 200k. I'll take Daedal Strength Five Edge Five Catcher. Thank you very much. Anyway, <laughs> Miss Phil Tree, thank you very much for the massive raid. Absolutely glorious and uh, preemptory. Congratulations. We're doing the replay and we haven't got to the final whistle, but you know it's it's Proels versus Ogres. So <laughs> hopefully we're so, going to yeah. see a good Daka here. The question is, uh, how many of your team uh, are going to survive? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Apo's gone already, isn't it? No. <laughs> yeah, the Apple gone now really makes you want to uh, not expose the good players. But this looks like we're going for a quick score. With this, there's there's lots of players up here. This is this is a bit dodgy, isn't it? Mm. I think. I mean, I don't hate it. Like it's. It's not terrible. There's no DACA though. I mean, the DACA would be... Um, like, I mean, we we all know, Jim, that you're a, <laughs> a massive DACA fan, so... <laughs> I, do I like mean, you just get a game to 2-0, you kill it, right? It's done. So, I can I can see the logic, but then it, there is the three LOS hits that you're going to take. Yeah. Um, but I, I think this is what I would do. But again, this is... Okay, I don't know about the pass there. Well, you kind of commit to it with a with a fast score, right? That's that's the that is the problem with a fast score. Like you know, that you're still rolling dice that put the game in the balance. Ooh. Yeah, I don't commit. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, this well, is, this well, I don't is half like that. half. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, like this that. is half and half. I I, I would have. I yeah. I would, like you say, I would have committed or not committed. Yeah. Yeah, I think if you do the pass there, then maybe the, maybe the re-roll changed their mind though. That's the thing, yeah. isn't it? And there's no sidestep either. Is there? You you'd want to ball on the sidestep, right, so that you can stand on the sideline. I think. Would be nice. Yeah. 
Yeah, sat there. I mean, that is the, that is the Chunter score. Uh, the Chunter score. The Chunter point oh, of view. Oh, yeah, that the, 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 the quick score is always guaranteed. And again, if I could take the quick score, I would. <laughs> but you can't. <laughs> you have to roll dice to quick score. So, so that is the thing. And yeah, Ogres can come back from 2-0. Yeah, better than most teams. Yeah. And uh, like the, the issue is with the quick score... And this. This, is the, quick, this is, is the issue for me. There's this, yes. But there's also the fact that if you if you try and slow down the Ogre score back, you're going to be putting bodies on the line. So you yeah. either just concede the touchdown, in which case you've got a quick score again. Yeah. And obviously there's dice to roll. Um. Whereas if you dacker and you fail to score, you can probably still win one nil as well. Yeah, so, yeah. but there's, it's, it's, this is a tricky one. But my bottle, my bottle goes like that's the thing is I I just think just fucking score dim, just score and then get it done and then you've won the game and then like but in hindsight, you're so much faster, the, so much. The more dacker accurate, is yeah. extremely powerful because the ogres can you know roll a boneheads, yeah. the boneheads yeah. and the, that's it. Yeah, well, there's, the three, there's, there's three boneheads for uh, Moomin right there. Yeah, yeah, that that's the thing. Like, okay, it, the the six strength five are hard to get through, you know, the blitz and stuff. But the the fact is, one of them's got a bonehead, and then and then it becomes very easy to break through. <laughs> and it, uh, this is the thing that I think about Chalice as well. Is I, I think that you need to have this plan in your head before the game even starts. Like, you need to kind of think about what happens if I'm one nil up at half time what happens if I'm one nil down like you know like you should have it almost planned out or mapped out in your mind how you're going to play it and how you're going to treat it and uh, I think the main things to consider are like the apo um, being in play and not being in play and mm. like obviously re-rolls and stuff like that how many re-rolls you've got Glorious. Hello, Dicey. Thank you very much. Glorious. <laughs> oh, thank you very much for this. Wonderful. And uh, yeah, that was fierce getting kicked, wasn't it, Caitlin? Yeah, that was like, and that was a big relief, wasn't it? Not, uh, not having that die. <laughs> KO is the best result there, really. Like as long as you, I mean, maybe you don't even need to score. Could maybe win one nil, but you're probably gonna have to score, aren't you? Yeah, hundred percent would have said safe when that KO happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Safe, <laughs> safe. <laughs> Phew. Unless you use Amazon's, then it doesn't matter because you won't win challenge. Yeah, very good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is pointless. Win. It is a pointless endeavour. I don't know why people keep pursuing it. It's like <laughs> it's, it, it just Oof. won't happen. Like, but then again, then again, I've took the worst team to Chalice. Uh, one season, I did it purely just to be in Chalice. So <laughs> I, I also understand. I also understand that is Amazon's are probably the, the the weird thing about Amazon's is they're probably the easiest way to qualify for Chalice. Yeah. And also the least likely to actually do anything in Chalice. So yeah. it's well, that's it's, why it's, that's why they're the easiest to qualify, basically, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I don't like this whereas, tato. This is just a full tato, isn't it? It's a semi-baked one, I'd say. I think it's pretty fucking baked. <laughs> like there was, I mean, okay, if this is a power, you get to you get to go something. But I think it was maybe better to uh, to like blitz through with this guy. You know, I think blitzing through with this guy. Is it? Is it it's like a two plus two plus with that ogre for like a two D, right? When yeah. he can make a couple of dodges out make for a three D. Yeah. 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 This is. Uh... This is very baked, I would say. Take a fork in me, Jim. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! He's... Oh no! It doesn't matter. That's not the wrong score. That's fine. What happened now? He's not break. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it was. What... Do you want to use break tackle thing? Wasn't it? Gets the power. Ooh! And that catcher is. Uh, stuck. Not sure about. Is that the best thing to have done? worked out i'm not sure if it was like how good the throwing was because he could have just put the snotling there couldn't even hit from diagonal couldn't he he could have done yeah yeah that might have been better maybe not though maybe he had to go here maybe yeah maybe that's all he could go i get yeah no he can well he can hit on the opposite diagonal so it's, yeah yeah he could have put it, that snotling there maybe 
Yeah, but then you're banking on the armor break. Yeah. Because if you don't get the armor break, then you're you're uh, leaving the counter score. It's tough, isn't it? It's tough to know what it, like how. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I wasn't really watching, so I don't, I don't really care. But, so I don't know how bad the, how bad the scat route was. <laughs> I mean, the scatter route is always going to favour the elves anyway, because they're elves. Oh, intercept! Oh, bye bear. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, this is serious. There's not an intercept. Humiliation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Surf the blitzer? Oh, no. Man, oh, no, this surf is... this one. <gasps> surf the catcher. Five turns. How many elves are actually on the pitch here? We got four that I can see, five that I can see. I'm not, I'm not surfing anyone. Sad. I mean, it was Sad. a big commitment to surf the to surf the side step, obviously, but it was possible. Where is Wait, this I one? Think I, uh, yeah, this one. You yeah. Surf. This one. You, this one. You surf. The edgy guy. Yeah. Yeah. Especially. Yeah. Uh... I mean, he's rackle and he's edgy, so like, I think you surf him. It was yep. possible to surf him because you've already got a guy down, but it, it was it was a bit stupid to surf him. It's yeah, it's a horrible decision to make. To be honest. Good evening, absolute pinnacle. <laughs> yep, good old augers. I mean, like to be fair, this is an example of why I love the stunt he's in the cup. To be honest, I know you're not a fan, Jim, but I I. Very much like like some of the stunning games, especially I I know they're not gonna win it and all that. I'm I'm fully on board and it it makes it air quotes less competitive. Um, but they can they can just murder your teams and they um they there is that fear level of playing any stunty team where you think I'm gonna be embarrassed in front of the whole blood bowl community by losing to stunty. Like, that's, that's the only thing. That's the only thing. You know. Oh, it's uh, great, mate. It's great. You like, it, I mean. Uh, like, I think uh, Terrific lost with his alt account versus uh, Goblins. Yeah. I think I heard that uh, yesterday. So, yeah, that mm. hilarious. Artemis also lost. Oh, mm. I love it, yeah. Armus has lost to Goblins a few times. Like, more than Twice? Once. Yeah. Yeah, it was the same team, though, and he didn't technically lose the first time, but yeah. Like, he was can. losing, and then they replayed, and he, and he lost properly. <laughs> <laughs> Or, yeah, no, I'm, I'm not against. I'm not against stunties in the cup. I just, I don't really care. You know, it's just, it just depends. It just depends what you're looking for. So I, I don't really care one way or the other. I am. I am against. I, I know. I know what you like, Jim. You, you tend to like think factually rather than like uh, heartedly or whatever. I, I am. Yes, they should yeah, get. Yeah. They should get their own cup. Right, so yes, factually, it would be more competitive if they weren't in it. Yes. But in your heart, it's Blood Bowl, it's a load of random shit, and we should embrace it and enjoy it. Yeah, and I just don't care, because at the end of the day, like, you know, some things are going to please some people and some things are not, and whatever, I don't... I don't yeah. Care. I just don't care. Like, like, like green peppers. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter, does it? No, everyone has their own favourite colour. Yeah. Pepper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just what I throw I made sure that was clear. <laughs> Yeah, it's not easy for the Olgas here. Yeah, if you it's... could throw a different Olga, that would be great. But um, <laughs> I, I mean, it's, it's, like, on the on the flip side, that's the sad thing about the game. Like it was pretty much over turn three when three scored. Like you know, so <laughs> it's yeah. that. Yeah, yeah that was, there is uh, that. The question was which was uh, what was going to be the body count. Yeah, and so far. It's zero, isn't it? Zero, yeah. Two loners. Don't don't care what happens to them. Apple is gone, but uh, everyone's just been killed. And this is a very successful game so far. Absolute dream first round. Isn't it just, yeah. At the moment, <laughs> there's still time. Yeah. There's still there's, time. There's still a... Oh, don't get me wrong. The, the, the butt cheeks will still be clenched, but <laughs> like as of yet, they are uh, happy. Yes. <laughs> Happy butt cheeks at the moment. <laughs> this is uh, in danger of a score here, right? Still. Um, P 
pick up, hand off, and then lob him, I think. So this is not safe for Tree right now. Another oh one dead. God. I think this is definitely scorable. Oh, wow. Huge. Huge pick up. DT, but that, that now he's got to pick up with an ogre, right? He's got to pick up with an ogre, I think. One, two, three, four, five, GFI, GFI, yeah. Yeah, so he's got an ogre pick up, double GFI, hand off, and then attempt to lob it. It's not good. But there's a chance. You're telling me there's a chance. I would imagine if were a skill that two ogres can cool throw a third ogre. Yeah. Oh, man. Like a, like a fireball. <laughs> <laughs> and now I don't like moving this one as much because now it's. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's out of the way. Okay. Yeah, now you put it there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, except now you've gone stupid. Yeah, that's, so maybe you that's something. Put it there. This might seem like a really dumb question. But, you know, like, you have to declare your pass on the tabletop. So, yes. if you're passing with an ogre, you have to declare the pass with that specific ogre. Yes. So, if it boneheads, you kind of have to re-roll it. You can't just use the next ogre yes. to go, oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, so the, 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 the Blood Bowl 3 activa 2 activation rules are a bit of a buff for throw teammate. Or a buff? Yeah. Oh, because throw teammate is the pass. So, so in Blood Bowl two, you can just activate one and then not throw. But in in tabletop, you'd have to throw. Yeah, and is that going to be the same in Blood Bowl three? No, no. In Blood Bowl three, it's gonna it's a it's a nerf. I mean, I said in Blood Bowl two, it's a buff. It's a oh, sorry, mate. Yeah, 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 yeah. So here we go. He's got the push. And now we've got the handoff. Do you reckon they're going to code it that way? Yeah, yeah, they already have done. Ah, he fails the catch. Tragic. That's it. Tragic. Yeah, you can use multiple rerolls. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it, it, it's nerfed in that regard compared. Well, it was. it's more like it was buffed in Blood Bowl 2, right? It was buffed in Blood Bowl 2. I was right the first time. It's not been nerfed in Blood Bowl 3 because Blood Bowl 3, it's true to the true to the tabletop. It was it was buffed in Blood Bowl 2 with the not having to declare actions. Oh, my God, the MVP on the Blitzer. Perfect MVP. The... Uh, the terrible blitzer <laughs> gets the MVP. <laughs> Maybe I think Tackle is just the, the skill that he needs. Yes, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, yeah. There you go. What a, what a dream match for Miss Bell Tree. And, so. and then if you rolled a double, it's got to be Mighty Blow, right? Yes, yes, finally get Mighty Blow. Um, <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's click the shitty blitzer. He has not got it yet. Um, right, so there you go. Congratulations, Miss Bell Tree. Commiserations, Moomin Slayer. Thank you very much, Fimir and Dimmy. Absolutely glorious having you guys on. That's always a pleasure. Amazons will never win Chalice. <laughs> and thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>